Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. I'm back again with another video. Hey, shouts out to the whole LDBC. Y'all smash that like, subscribe button, and share the video. I always leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, you know where to go. Go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon bell so you miss none of this heat that's being dropped every day from Urban Media Fix. Also, go subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit that no no notification icon bell. Go subscribe to Smoke City Mobcast on the Smoke City Mobcast uh, on the LDBC uh, app. So make sure you do that. All right, so this is the uh, Triple G versus Steve Rose post-fight reaction. And um, <sighs> let's talk about it, man. Okay, well, now we know that Triple G, this is first time being back since the loss from uh, Canelo. He got a new trainer. He no, he is no longer with uh, Abel Sanchez, so now he's in. He got Jonathan Banks in the corner. Jonathan, Jonathan Banks is a pupil of the late great Emmanuel Stewart. So now we all come speed up to date. And let's proceed. Now uh, I'm gonna talk about what actually took place in this fight, and I want to talk about the uh, judging and uh, how they did the round scoring. You know, uh, at the end of the fight, you know, like during the fight, I heard more say that uh, I don't know if he said he had roles with winning two rounds or whatever the case may be. Make a long story short, uh, I didn't have Triple G winning every round. To be honest with you, I didn't have Triple G. I had Triple G losing this fight up until. Pretty much the knock the knockout, pretty much. I mean, I might have gave him a round before that, but it was arguably it was it was tough because Steve Rose was giving Triple G all he could handle in there. Uh, Triple G was more patient in this fight, you know, coming back. But uh, I seen I seen more head movement versus uh. You know, when, when when shots getting fired at Triple G, throw the guard up and just back it up in a straight line. So I, I, I seen more, you know, head moving in the pocket, you know, and uh, taking a slight step back, you know. Um, so a little bit of improvement on that. But he's, his defense still wasn't all that great. He still was getting hit with shots, with uh, especially with right hands. And jabs. He was getting caught with jabs, too, as well. Um, what I noticed about Triple G is that he was coming forward a lot without using his jab. And, you know, sometimes he tends to do that. But the last few times I've seen Triple G, well, most of the times I've seen Triple G fight, he uses uh, quite a bit of jabs. And to me, in this fight, I, I just didn't see him use too many jabs in this fight. You know, I see him getting hit with jabs. I don't see him use too many of them. But uh, on another note, though, uh, I don't know anything about Steve Rose. I guess he's from Canada. You know, whatever the case may be. But I, I, uh, this is my first time really watching him fight against Triple G. And uh, Triple G actually, to me, looked slower than he did in the last fight. Triple G is starting to look slower and slower. Uh, I'm starting to even question his power at at this point because, you know, this is maybe about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Triple G, when he punches, you know, you can you can hear it and and see the thud on his punches. Now it's like they slow and they don't seem as effective as, as they did once, you know, about a year and a half ago. You know, maybe it's just me though, but that's how I seen it. And you know, they say the the first, the, the last thing to go is the power. So I don't know, man. Uh, I thought Steve Rose was still doing pretty good. You know, leading up to the knockout, I thought that he was sitting in the pocket too much sometimes without uh, without uh, letting his hands go. Not not often, but you know, he he would let. Triple G rest instead of letting his hands go. I thought he could have 
uh, did a better job of letting trip, uh, letting his hands go in the pocket while Triple G was trying to rest, while he wasn't doing nothing, you know, to keep him busy, and uh, you know, just just keep some output going on Triple G. But uh, for the for the most part, you know, well, I'm gonna say fifty percent of the time he did that. Uh, I thought that he did. He, they were saying that uh, Triple G was landing the more effective shots, but I heard the commentators say that the opposite, and I even agree with the commentators. I thought that uh, Steve Rose was landing the more effective shots. Triple G head was snapping back throughout the fight. Steve Rose had a high guard, you know, in the pocket he had a high guard. And and he was catching a lot of those shots off off the uh his elbow in the in the, you know in the pocket the the body shots and rolling a lot of uh right hands from Triple G as well and, and countering. But that's neither here nor there. Either way it go, he got knocked out, he lost. Uh Triple G made a pass, uh a guy who he was supposed to make a pass, but I thought Triple G kind of struggled in in, in this fight up until the knock until the knockdown. I thought maybe he caught up with Steve Rose because of Steve Rose was getting tired in the fight. That's what it seems to be. He wanted to rest in round four, and I think he picked the wrong round to rest. And Triple G turned it up and 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 hurt Steve Rose pretty badly. But uh, and and, and got him out of there, you know. Steve Rose didn't even make the count. He actually, he, he got up. He tried to get up, and he just almost fell through the ropes. You know, so uh, that's pretty much what happened on that. You know, he got, uh, the pressure came to him in the in the, uh, in the the fourth, fifth round. But I want to talk about this, this, uh, this punch stats that they put out there. They were saying that Triple G landed 62, uh, Punches to uh, Steve Rose, like 32 or some crap like that. And then he had uh, a 20% uh, connect uh, connect percentage uh, Triple G had. Excuse me. Had uh, 20. It, it was more than him, but that's not what I seen in the fight. I, I didn't see that in the fight. I seen, I kind of seen the opposite, you know. Triple G didn't 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 well, he was not that accurate in this fight. And on top of that, he didn't let his hands go that much in this fight. You know, I thought the Steve Rose was letting his hands go more, and I thought he was letting the more punches. And the more effective punches. You know. But uh I don't know what's the, what's next to Triple G. You know he called out Canelo like always. Uh I don't think Demetrius Andre is gonna get that shot next. I think if uh, I think if Triple G fight Demetrius Andre, man, I think I think Triple G will, uh, will lose that fight. You know, I'm starting to believe that Demetrius Andre will, will probably uh, hurt Triple G, especially if he if he's able to just stay away from Triple G if he uses his legs. And don't sit there and bang with Triple G and make a miss all night, and and and, and just catch him. He he, it's it's possible. You know, Demetrius Andre definitely got the got what it takes to uh, beat Triple G. But I I don't see that fight happening right now. I don't see the Canelo fight happening right now. And I'm pretty sure Triple G knows. He knows that the fight with Canelo is not happening right now because. I think he on a, what, three-fight deal or something like that with the zone. So, I mean, they're not going to uh, have him fight Canelo next. They're going to put him in there for the grand finale. So, just chill, uh, Triple G. You'll get your, your, your uh, trilogy, and Canelo's going to stop Triple G in this last fight. And he'll end Triple G's career. Silence him. There'll be no more Triple G, period. But um, that's pretty much it. That's the post fight reaction. Uh, salute to both fighters who they went in there, you know, put it all out on the line. And yeah, man. So 
Till then, next time, though, y'all let me know what y'all think. If you seen this fight, uh, what you thought, what was, what was your assessment on Triple G's performance? How you thought he looked with Jonathan Banks in the corner? And uh, and what's next for Triple G in the future? So y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. This your boy, JB, Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.